What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about the mirror effect and different ways that you can manipulate it to give you a cool special effect. Now let's get started. Now, if you enjoy videos like this and you want to see more like it, please subscribe to the channel because I'm constantly creating new content. So let's head down here in the timeline. So I have a couple different clips. I have this just kind of overhead drone shot of the ocean, which is beautiful colors, kind of has a nice little contrast with the white waves. I also have a race car flying by on a dirt road. And then I have this cityscape shot that we're going to do some fun stuff with. So let's start with the first one. Let's start with this car racing one. So first thing we need to do is head over here into the project panel, head up to the effects tab, and you can either go down through the video effects and go to distort. Where are there we are, distort. And then look for the mirror right here. And you can literally just drag and drop and drop it onto the clip. And then you'll head up here into the um, into the source panel. And you notice here at the bottom, it's highlighted the mirror and it has a couple different options to manipulate it. So you'll notice once I highlight this, so the gray bar is active, come over here on the right hand side, this little blue cross, it's an anchor point for the mirror of this video. Just pretend to the right of this over here, there's a duplicate reflection of the same clip. So we'll come back over here and we'll have reflection center and we're going to have reflection angle. So you'll notice if we move this, can you see how it's rotating from that blue X that we talked about? So you can rotate it from that anchor point and then you can bring it right to the middle. Now simple effect just right there. It looks like it's water with reflection from the sky. And if we click play, car looked kind of like it was driving on water. So that's a very basic thing. We will go back on that. Now in that same anchor point, focus from there on the right. If we move this to the left and right, you're going to see instead of rotating like an angle we did before, this is just moving left to right. So then you can move it that way. So if we did that and then play it, it would show up in car from both sides because it's mirroring that way. And you could do that. I'm gonna undo that. Now let's move on to the next clip. So for something like this, we'll grab the mirror effect from the project panel and drag and drop over this. Make sure the clip itself is highlighted, which you'll see the white rim around the clip. Go up here again to the source panel, click on the mirror, and you're gonna see the exact same anchor point that we did from the previous clip. And on something like this, instead of going underneath like we did before, we can go above and then make it seem like it's a little river and there's sand on both sides. Which gives it a pretty, pretty cool effect. And another thing you can do is you can add another mirror effect on top of the mirror effect. You don't want to do that too many times because then it distorts the photo. But let's move over to the last shot we have with the cityscape. And I'm going to do like a little inception where the city is coming from the sky in reverse. So do the exact same thing. We'll head down here to the mirror. Grab the mirror effect, drag and drop it on this clip. And then of course we highlighted that like you see the white rim around the clip. Head up here into the source panel. Click on the mirror once again and same thing. You're going to see the anchor point there. So I'm going to want to drag that up and go reverse. Eh, too far. And put the city on the top. Now, it's too close together but what you can do is come up here. Because remember this was left to right. And then the next one over here is, is top to bottom. So if you go one direction, you can take it that way. But I want to bring it up like the city's peeling off from itself. Now we can grab that mirror effect again and drag and drop it on top of the same clip once again. And then you'll head over here to the source panel. You'll notice there's two mirrors. That's the first one that we did that was reverse. And there's this next one. And then if we grab the bottom, the reflection angle, and do it again the other direction. There we go. And then you can have like a little triple effect like that. Now you could obviously do this with any pattern, any movement. You can kind of manipulate however you want to give it the effect you want. So there's a few different ways that you can use the mirror effect to manipulate your footage to give it the look that you want. Another time you can use this effect is if you're trying to manipulate some sort of dream sequence where they're kind of out of reality or some sort of mind altering state. Anyway, I hope that helped. And if it did, please give that video a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. 
And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. That being said, have a great day. Later. Later.